it's not much of a hideout. But still a charming place to spend the night. They'll never know what hit them. Even though I like it when they do. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. This ain't my car. These aren't my clothes. I met this guy and he gave me all this stuff. Where to, Chief? You can have it if you want. You told me. There is nothing wrong with your television. Do not attempt to adjust the picture. We are now controlling the transmission. We control the horizontal and the vertical. We can deluge you with a thousand channels or expand one single image to crystal clarity and beyond. We can shape your vision to anything our imagination can conceive. For the next hour, we will control all that you see and hear. to experience the awe and mystery which reaches from the deepest inner mind to the outer limits. Sometimes, to uncover that which is hidden, we must first be made to look. Hey, hey, we're getting a little worried about you, dude. Uh, I wouldn't miss this one. We've got a show to do. Donald, where the hell have you been? I had to give a couple ardent fans the slip. That's comforting. Well, I'm here. Did everybody make it? Yes, barely. Uh, that's good. Boys, lock it up real tight today. I don't want anybody in or out of the studio. Got that? Everybody, focus. This is the big one. Sandra, you're losing your edge. I've been here a minute already, and you haven't asked me for the script. I don't care. I'm behind the camera, remember? Get this on the teleprompter ASAP. Listen, Donald, it's not too late to rerun your expose on the Hartford River nuclear facility, you know? You just say the word. There's a reason people don't do live TV anymore. Well, we used to do a lot of it, remember? Yeah, for cable access in Des Moines. Life was simpler then. You think the job's still open? I said we're going to make history here. People need to know this. And we need them to watch. They will. Good show. Who's got uh, closed circuit today? I'll check out the remote before we lock it up. Camera one. Bring it up then, if you would, and 
Colin, could you pipe me in to interview A and make that private, please? You got it. Close up would be nice, thank you. Hello? My friend, are you there? Can you hear me? Yes, Donald. Good. How are you feeling? Fine. Not bad, huh? I don't feel safe here, Donald. Well, that's an improvement. Remember last time we spoke, you didn't feel safe anywhere. The fact that this place isn't any worse than any other isn't very comforting. There has to be another way. Well, your brother tried it another way, remember? And that's uh, what got him into that mess. You're just going to have to try to trust me here. You do trust me, don't you? Yes. Very well. We're going to go live in about five minutes, so uh, just try to relax and remember what you're here for. I remember. Okay. Yep, that's all I want you to do. This is a big one today. That's right. We just got the script down on the set. You got it. So I'll be giving you the break cues directly. No problem. I'll need double checks on all the gear and cameras two and three as well. No problem. I want them prepped and ready to roll at a moment's notice. No problem. Commander, the network guy just called. He's got a transmitter on standby for you. But he's not too happy about it. Yeah, well, neither am I. So, where are we at? Well, the crew's set to go. And Billy's ready to take the floor, but he can't find his headset. And he won't find it. I'll be taking the floor tonight. Something wrong with that? No. I mean, Sandra, all the security and stuff. I thought it was a standard promo hype. But this is for real, huh? Wish it weren't. Well, you know, I came here to be a TV reporter. I guess I can do a little James Bond on the side. Yeah. Come on. Okay, everybody. We're on in ten. Here we go. This is it. This is the big one. Let's make it happen. In five, four, three. This is The Whole Truth. Tonight on a special edition of The Whole Truth, DNA, genetic engineering, cloning. The daily advances in biotechnology are almost overwhelming. But what does it really mean for our lives? And where will it ultimately lead us? Good evening, I'm Donald Rivers, and what you're going to see tonight will shock you, maybe even terrify you. You might be tempted to turn away or change the channel, hoping or praying that none of this is true. It will be my job, my responsibility, to make you listen, to make you believe. How many times have our own elected officials deceived us, used us? Alabama, 1932. The U.S. government denies penicillin to black men infected with syphilis so that researchers can observe the disease run its course. The Tuskegee experiment continues for the next 40 years as scientists watch their subjects' bones, hearts, and nerve tissue slowly disintegrate and do nothing to stop it. 1946, as part of the Manhattan Project, the government secretly injects 12 patients in Rochester, New York, with uranium and plutonium to test the effects of radiation exposure on human beings. Fifty years later, the Department of Energy releases files detailing similar experiments on nearly 20,000 other people, including prisoners, mentally disabled children, and pregnant women. 1953, the CIA initiates MKUltra, a series of experiments in advanced mind control techniques including electroshock therapy and psychoactive drugs on a wide variety of often unsuspecting subjects. The project is spread out across a vast network of governmental and private institutions and continues in secret for nearly 20 years. Time and again, our government has openly confirmed our worst, most paranoid fears. 
And if that's what they're willing to admit, then what have they chosen to conceal? Tonight, the whole truth will expose a secret government program dispersed through numerous public agencies and private corporations, all with the same goal, to slowly and invisibly manipulate the course of human genetic development and, by extension, the future of every man, woman, and child in this country. Since the people responsible will do everything in their considerable power to suppress this information, we are broadcasting tonight's show live. Everyone here has volunteered to be here, and I'd like to thank both my colleagues and the network for their courage in letting me go on the air with this. Our story begins over 30 years ago with an extraordinary U.S. Army medical experiment on immortality. In a series of brutal tests, Dr. Terence Sinclair made extensive studies on the blood of a remarkable young woman, identified only as Jade, who appeared to be immune to the aging process. While Sinclair's attempts to extend human lifespans did achieve some success, the intervention of an unidentified soldier brought his experiments to an abrupt halt, as we see in this dramatic reenactment. June 20, 1600 hours. This is Dr. Terence Sinclair. I'm about to introduce the second test series into the subject's bloodstream to measure toxicity response. Sinclair, why don't we sit Please. down? Please, oh, can't. That would affect the test results. Hold her still. Court Marshal just coming in here. What the hell is he doing to you? Please help me before he comes back. Oh. I think I can walk. What will they do to you? Let's just get you out of here. Put her down. <laughs> I can't let you hurt this girl anymore. That was an order. I'll repeat it. Put her down. <laughs> Look, Corporal, I don't think you know. I know that you can't treat a person like that. She's not a person. She's not. I'm a scientist. I know how this must look. The work we are doing here is very important. It could mean a great deal to the rest of us. Look, soldier, just put her back on the table and get out. Please don't. We're leaving. Now. You can't have her! Don't! Don't shoot! Yes! Don't! Taped logs obtained by the whole truth reveal the astonishing details. August 11, 2100 hours. The subject shows remarkable resiliency to both extreme heat and extreme cold. Tissue regeneration is at least 700% of normal. She's the fountain of youth. The laboratory and virtually all evidence of the project were destroyed. No bodies were ever recovered. But was this simply an isolated incident or the first piece of a much larger puzzle? When we return, we'll meet the person responsible for bringing this evidence and a great deal more to life. Coming up next, the man who's made a picture from those pieces. When our chosen leaders turn against us, where do we turn? To the police, to our laws, to a gun under the pillow, or to the courage of a single man armed only with the truth? The source for much of what you will see tonight is just such a man. He's a molecular biologist, formerly with the Department of Defense. And for obvious reasons, we've taken every precaution to keep his identity and location secret. We appreciate you being here with us tonight, sir. Thank you. Now, you claim you've pieced together evidence of a long-range government project to change the course of human genetic development. Yes, that's correct. And this project was created by Dr. Sinclair? Not exactly. Sinclair's longevity experiments were just a starting point. 
but several of the current research initiatives did build on his work. And what's wrong with an attempt to extend human lifespans? Nothing. It, the government never intended that research, that technology, to reach the public. Why? They were developing a process to alter humans at a cellular level. It began as a way to reverse necrosis in human tissue. Now you mean a way to reanimate the dead? Right. But it was more than that. Their process involved rebuilding the neural pathways of a subject's brain in such a way that they could control the subject. That's what they were really trying to do. All right, joining us via satellite is Dr. Richard Morgan. He's vice president of research and development at Ferritin Laboratories, one of the companies in question. Dr. Morgan, how do you respond to these allegations? Well, in a nutshell, the allegations are absurd. The Ferritin Corporation has a distinguished record of public service and the most scrupulous research protocols in the industry. But it is true that over 75% of your R&D is devoted to defense projects. We're a defense contractor. The benefits from your research are being kept exclusively for the government agencies that support you. Well, that's ridiculous. Is it? We have a video which was distributed to Ferritin's board of directors containing a progress report of your reanimation project. What? Doctor, please, just watch your monitor. Through the use of the Scanning Molecular Reorganizer, or SMR.